and your old sparring partner, Donald Trump, is on the stump and doing rather well in the United States. What would a Trump presidency mean, do you think? It, certainly, it would, uh, it, it, it would uh, be a great boon for the 24-hour news cycle. You know, so of that, there's no question. I, I'd like, I'm not going to interfere in American politics in the way that Donald Trump interferes in Scottish politics, uh, except to say this, that there, there's a difference between name recognition and political support, and it may be before long uh, that Donald Trump will come to understand the difference. Alex Salmon, thank you very much. Quiet hiss of a blade going in between the ribs there. Thank you. The former SNP leader Alex Salmond has told this program his party would be able to cooperate with Labour under Jeremy Corbyn on a number of issues, including opposition to Trident and austerity. Mr Salmond, who's now an MP at Westminster, also said he believed Scotland was moving towards another referendum on independence. I think a second independence referendum is inevitable. The, the question, of course, is, is not the inevitability, it's, a, it's the timing, and that is very much in the hands of, uh, of Nicola Sturgeon. Hello, good afternoon. The former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, has said he thinks a second referendum on Scottish independence is inevitable. Mr Salmond, who is now a Westminster MP, said failure to deliver on the so-called vow about devolution were among the issues driving the move towards another referendum. But the timing, he said, was down to his successor, Nicola Sturgeon. Our political correspondent, Matt Cole, reports. Just days before last September's independence referendum, Scotland's then First Minister made it clear it was a vote unlikely to be repeated any time soon. This is a, a once-in-a-generation, perhaps even a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Scotland. But now, ten months on, and speaking as an MP, Alex Salmond's view is different. Oh, I, I think a second independence referendum is inevitable. The, the question, of course, is, is not the inevitability, it's, a, it's the timing. So what's changed? Mr Salmond claims that promised new powers for the Holyrood Parliament were not being delivered in full and that welfare measures being introduced by the Conservatives were contrary to what Scotland, which returned 56 SNP MPs, had voted for in the general election. Instead of getting devo to the max, we're getting austerity to the max and that divergent view of, of what's right in social terms between Scotland and England is another issue which is moving things towards another referendum. The whole issue has been exacerbated by the Conservative government's plans to introduce English votes for English laws in Westminster, a system whereby MPs from England's constituencies would get a veto on laws affecting only their country. The SNP says that will leave Scottish MPs as second-class members in Westminster. <laughs> But despite Alex Salmond's intervention, it's this woman, Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, who will decide whether a proposal for another referendum should be included in the Scottish National Party's manifesto for the 2016 Holyrood elections. She's previously deflected questions about that, but even if it becomes party policy and gets the support of Scotland's voters, getting a Westminster-based government to agree another vote might be very difficult indeed. Matt Cole, BBC News. Alex Salmond suggests another Scottish independence referendum is inevitable, accusing the government of failing to deliver on further devolution. Scotland's former First Minister Alex Salmond has said that a second independence referendum is inevitable. Mr Salmond, who's now a Westminster MP, accused the government of failing to deliver on its promises of devolution. He said the timing of such a vote was in the hands of the current First Minister and SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon. Our political correspondent Alex Forsyth reports. The day after Scotland said no to independence, Disappointment among some was plain. They'd lost a vote which the then First Minister had said was unlikely to be repeated any time soon. This is a, a once in a generation, perhaps even a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for Scotland. Well, if you were but less than a year later, an Alex Salmond, now an MP, has a different view. Oh, I, I think a second independence referendum is inevitable. The, the question, of course, is, is not the inevitability, it's, a, it's the timing. Mr Salmon said three things could encourage another referendum. He claimed promised new powers for Scotland weren't being delivered in full. There was a risk Scotland could be dragged out of the EU if the UK voted to leave. 
and he blamed the UK government's welfare reforms and austerity. Instead of getting Devo to the max, we're getting austerity to the max and that divergent view of, of what's right in social terms between Scotland and England is another issue which is moving things towards another referendum. First Minister. But it's up to this woman whether the SNP will campaign for another independence vote in next year's Scottish elections. So far, Nicola Sturgeon said her party's not planning that, but it can't be ruled out indefinitely and timing is crucial. I don't think a referendum is going to solve any problems. I think it's just going to create more problems. That's a bad idea. We've been it, done it. We've voted no. And that should stand for 20 years, in my opinion. The situation has changed since the last referendum, and I think, yeah, I think it will be inevitable. The SNP's political opponents say revisiting the issue is the wrong priority. It would seem to me that the people of Scotland would want the Scottish Government and the former First Minister to be concentrating on those big issues in public services in Scotland that they've got full control over, but it seems they're completely obsessed with trying to find an excuse for a second referendum that the Scottish people said loudly less than a year ago that they wanted to stay part of the United Kingdom. In Westminster, Conservative sources say talk of a second referendum, which Alex Salmond has mentioned before, is a distraction from how the SNP would use new powers it's getting from the UK Parliament. The government's view is the independence question was settled decisively last year. But as debate rages over devolution from Westminster to the rest of the UK, it's inevitable so too will debate over the future of the union although any second referendum would be some way off. Alex Forsyth, BBC News, Westminster. Good evening. The former SNP leader Alex Salmond has said a second referendum on Scottish independence is inevitable. He said the decision on when to hold it was up to his successor Nicola Sturgeon, prompting the party's opponents to call for clarity. Here's our political reporter, Andrew Black. Last September's independence referendum may not have gone the SNP's way, but since then the party's experienced a massive surge in members and parliamentarians. And along with that has come speculation that another vote on Scotland's future could be on the horizon. SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon says she's not currently planning another referendum, but could comments made today by her predecessor suggest otherwise? Oh, I think a second independence referendum is inevitable. The question, of course, is, is not the, the inevitability, it's, a, it's the timing, and that is very much in the hands of, uh, of Nicola Sturgeon. Here's what Nicola Sturgeon previously said about the last referendum. Well, I, mean, I think the SNP have always uh, said that, in our view, these kind of referendums are once-in-a-generation events. This is a, probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Scotland. That, along with Alex Salmon's intervention, has prompted questions from opponents. Who's the real leader of the SNP here? Is it Alex Salmon who's demanding uh, that, that the uh, timetable and that the proposals for a new referendum come forward? Or is it Nicola Sturgeon who he's now putting pressure on to come forward with those particular proposals and excuses? We need some clarity. Mr Salmon suggested three potential triggers for another referendum. Failure by the UK government to deliver a major new Scottish powers, a vote to leave the EU and further Westminster spending cuts. He also reckons holding another vote on Scotland's future is a matter of when, not if. Andrew Black, reporting Scotland. The UK government is being accused of trying to hide the true extent of child poverty, with plans to redefine how it's measured. The Social Justice Secretary Alex Neil says such a change would cast adrift some 120,000 children whose parents work on low incomes. The Department for Work and Pensions argues eradicating child poverty is an absolute priority. Now football and the dates have been announced for Scotland's matches against England to qualify for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. The first match will be at Wembley on November the 11th next year. The return tie at Hampden Park will be on June the 10th, 2017.